Hello there, greetings in the name of the Lord. This is Sule Emmanuel. Welcome to Jesus Every Day, Light for Your Daily Path. This is episode 577 and our topic, Living by Faith. And this is part four. Our Bible reference is taken from God's word in Matthew chapter 21, verse 22. Friends, prayer is asking and believing you will receive. When we understand God's will on any issue, whether it's material or it's spiritual, we can ask and receive. We see that much assurance in God's word in Matthew 7 verse 7. Now, when you know God's will on an issue, but you encounter a closed door, the scripture instructs us to knock and keep knocking until the door opens. This is the practice of the prayer of faith because you know God has the answers. When discussing prayer, the importance of faith cannot be overstated. As we pray, we must stretch out our hands in faith to receive answers to our petitions. And as we pray consistently, our faith in God continues to grow. True prayer we are demonstrating faith in what God says and what God can do. The prayer that is not backed by faith will be a fruitless exercise. Let's always remember the words of Jesus to us. If you believe you will get anything you ask in prayer. I'll say that again. This is God's word to you. If you believe you will get anything you ask in prayer. Here is a task for today. Take some time to reflect on God's word in Mark eleven twenty four. Take some time to reflect on God's word in Mark eleven twenty four. Please pay close attention to the wisdom push, today's declaration, and our daily Bible reading. The Lord bless you richly in Jesus' precious name. Hi there. The most beautiful and profitable decision a person can make is the decision to allow Jesus lead their lives. This decision is what we make when we open our hearts to Jesus. We don't just give him our lives. We receive his life. Maybe as you hear me right now, you have not made this beautiful decision yet. You haven't said yes to Jesus. Today is an amazing day to do this. You will not regret it. A new chapter will be opened in your life from this decision. Just say these words after me. Dear Father, I come to you today. I recognize you are a good father. Thank you for loving me in spite of everything. Today, I respond to your love. I receive your life. And I ask that you become King and Lord of my heart. From today, I will serve and live for you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Congratulations, you have made the most important decision of your life. Now, if you need help to grow in your relationship with Jesus, please send an email to the address on the screen and we will be more than happy to assist you. God bless you. Have a great day, Father.